Now, credit where it's due, some celebrities, some public figures, are sharing their regret for fueling the Where's Kate frenzy in the weeks leading up to the Princess of Wales announcing that she had been diagnosed with cancer. Actress Blake Lively posted an apology on Instagram on Saturday, describing her Photoshop post as silly and saying that she was now mortified. While well, the journalist Owen Jones posted as someone who speculated on this without considering it to be a serious health condition, I am very ashamed, to be honest. And one of the Daily Mail's leading columnists, Sarah Vine, wrote in her Mail on Sunday piece that we all owe Kate a big apology. So, should stars apologise? Royal commentator Afia Hagen says people should say sorry if they spread rumours and made light of what was happening to her, but the editor of Spiked Online, Tom Slater, says People should be allowed to say whatever they like. Very good morning to you both. Tom Slater, even if that was suggesting that the royal family were lying or there was something nefarious going on, or if anyone was suggesting those pictures of Kate at the Windsor Farm Shop were actually AI-generated or a stunt double. Well, that's not what these celebrities were saying, was it? A lot of them were taking the mick out of a lot of those conspiracy theories. They were saying, I'm off to find Kate, or they were saying that uh, putting up their own kind of photoshopped images, not to mock someone who was going through a terrible personal crisis, which is actually a lot <coughs> worse than people realise. They were just making jokes, they are making light of it. Does it look a bit worse in retrospect? Certainly. But I think a, the wave of apologies has just become quite ostentatious. It's become the next bandwagon to jump on, and I don't think it's... It's something that p the people in the palace are going to be agonising as, you, as much you, as anything. You say that, now, with hindsight, we know because of what she told us on Friday that she had cancer, but it was bad enough as it was. Mm -hmm. I mean, she'd been in hospital having had major surgery for two weeks, and, you know, to be in hospital for two weeks is a heck of a long time. She'd asked very politely through the the palace to be left alone to get better and said that she'd be back just after Easter. And she wasn't left alone. She was teased and she was mocked, frankly humiliated, mm -hmm. in, in, in many of the posts online. You can't say that's freedom of speech. That's just bullying. Well, it is freedom of speech as far as people should be able to say whatever they want. People should also be criticised if they overstep the mark, if they spread ridiculous conspiracy <coughs> theories. I tend to think the focus on a few light-hearted joke celebrities have made distracts from the much broader issue, which is this genuine kind of conspiratorial churn online, mm. people believing absolute nonsense, people spreading absolute nonsense. But I think if we want to mm. leave Kate alone now, which I think we're all in agreement is the case, mm. do we really want to have another 24-hour news cycle about apologising to Kate about mm. this? The reason this story has gone on for as long as it has is because it did numbers, it did clicks, it gave engagement. I feel like this is an attempt, if nothing else, to keep the story in the Afia, news and to give us something more to talk I about. I would imagine... Uh, and I can only imagine, mm -hmm. but if I was Princess Kate, I have got better things to do mm. than be having a look at Twitter and think, what are people saying about me? I should have risen above it. Oh, absolutely, she's got better things to do, but this will still filter down in some way, and I think it's actually good that people are taking accountability. Absolutely, we should have free speech. Absolutely, people can form any opinions that they want. If you're wrong, take, a, take accountability, apologise and move on. I think Owen Jones, I think Blake Lively have absolutely done the right thing mm. in saying we might have perpetuated some rumours that were not true, we are sorry. In light of the situation we are now, Sorry for saying this, and moving on. Except that it, it, today we understand that three hostile states might be behind conspiracies and trolling and rumours. I mean, what Blake Lively and Owen Jones said is an absolute drop in the ocean if you've got China or Russia or Iran basically churning this stuff out on an industrial scale. Mm. Whoever is churning it out, and I do believe... They're not going to apologise, are no, they? No, of course not. I mean, foreign mm. actors, that's not what they're there to do. They are there to, you know, feed these conspiracy theories, feed the rumour mills. But if you've been caught out in this case, they have, Blake Lively, Owen Jones, saying that this is AI and the other thing. If you've been caught out, I don't think there's anything wrong with saying that you are sorry. Like I say, we should have freedom of speech. People can say whatever it is they want, but if you are wrong, you are wrong. And mm. also, just because you should say something or can say something doesn't mean that you should say it. It's about accountability. I, it's very important. I kind of take Tom's point that we don't want this rolling on and on and on, but, but my, my repost to that would be that there is still a window. It's only Monday. She, we only saw the statement at 6 o'clock on Friday. People have had the weekend to mull it over and read the coverage of it. I still think that there's a window of opportunity for people to say sorry. Maybe by tomorrow, Tuesday, it's too late. Mm. But do you agree with that, that there's, there's still time for I people to step so. up and say, 
I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have said it. I definitely think there's still time for people to say sorry. I definitely think there's still time for people to take accountability for what we've done. But we must also realise that these uh, conspiracy theories, which I think is probably more of a serious issue mm -hmm. than celebrities saying sorry, that still continues, will continue today and will continue for a long time because there's a sense of broken trust in what people can be believe from certain parts of the royal family. And that's yeah. a huge issue. Um, Tom, big state actors intervening mm -hmm. in order to destabilise society. They're not going to apologise. Should the social media platforms work out who's churning this stuff out and clamp down on it? Or would that be an attack on free speech? Well, I think if social media companies want to do things to make sure their platforms aren't being manipulated in that sense, I don't think many people would have much of a problem with that. But it is a reminder that when you look at your mentions on social media and when you look at what's currently trending, there's a tendency to see that as the perfect reflection of public opinion. Mm -hmm. That this is just people making their views of, God, look at all these horrible conspiratorial people. Oftentimes, it's people running a handful of, account of accounts that could be right. in this country, that could be so abroad. It's a, it's a very vocal minority. Exactly, yeah. and it's okay. often a not very representative. Okay. Tom, Tom, shall we say. Afia, thank you both thank very you. much indeed. Uh, almost 80% of you said, yeah. yes, say sorry to the princess.